Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Philippians 4 verses 11 to 13 I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 But godliness with contentment is great gain. Hebrews 13 verse 5 Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Psalm 37 verse 16 Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. Proverbs 15 verse 16 Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. 1 Timothy 6 verse 8 But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 10 Whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. Matthew 6 verses 31 to 33 so do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Proverbs 30 verses 8 to 9 Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me either poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I may become poor and steal, and so dishonor the name of my God. Luke 12 verse 15 Then he said to them, Watch out! Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Colossians 3 verse 2 Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Proverbs 14 verse 30 A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. Matthew 6 verses 19 to 21 Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17 Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Psalm 34 verse 10 The lions may grow weak and hungry, 
but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Psalm 73 verses 25 to 26 Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Matthew 6 verse 24 No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Psalm 16 verses 5 to 6 Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. Hebrews 13 verses 5 to 6 Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Luke 3 verse 14 Then some soldiers asked him, And what should we do? He replied, Don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely be content with your pay. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 17 Nevertheless, each person should live as a believer in whatever situation the Lord has assigned to them, just as God has called them. This is the rule I laid down in all the churches. Hebrews 10 verse 34 You suffered along with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property, because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possessions. Proverbs 16 verse 8 Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. Psalm 118 verse 24 The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Philippians 4 verse 19 and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. James 4 verse 6 But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Psalm 145 verse 16 you open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Psalm 90 verse 14 Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Ecclesiastes 3 verses 12 to 13 I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live that each of them may eat and drink, and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. Isaiah 26 verse 3 You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Psalm 34 verse 8 Taste and see that the Lord is good. 
Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Proverbs 19 verse 23 The fear of the Lord leads to life, then one rests content, untouched by trouble. Psalm 136 verse 26 Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. Psalm 145 verses 15 to 16 The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 1 Peter 3 verses 3 to 4 your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Isaiah 58 verse 11 The Lord will guide you always, he will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Luke 6 verse 38 Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Ephesians 5 verse 20 Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 16 verse 11 You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Colossians 3 verse 15 Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Proverbs 14 verse 21 It is a sin to despise one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who is kind to the needy. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Proverbs 16 verse 20 Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers, and blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Psalm 104 verses 14 to 15 He makes grass grow for the cattle, and plants for people to cultivate bringing forth food from the earth, wine that gladdens human hearts, old to make their faces shine, and bread that sustains their hearts. 1 Timothy 6 verse 10 For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Matthew 6 verse 25 Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 Remember this, 
Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Psalm 37 verse 3 Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. James 1 verse 17 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Psalm 23 verse 1 The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. Ephesians 4 verse 28 Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. Hebrews 6 verse 10 God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. 1 Timothy 6 verse 11 But you, man of God, flee from all this, and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Proverbs 19 verse 17 Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Psalm 37 verse 7 Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Hebrews 13 verse 17 Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. Proverbs 15 verse 6 The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked brings ruin. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 7 I wish that all of you were as I am. But each of you has your own gift from God. One has this gift, another has that. Philippians 2 verses 14 to 15 Do everything without grumbling or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. 58 verse 14 Then you will find your joy in the Lord, and I will cause you to ride in triumph on the heights of the land and to feast on the inheritance of your father Jacob. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Psalm 9 verse 1 I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. Romans 12 verse 12 Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. 1 Timothy 6 verse 12 Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. James 1 verses 2 to 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Psalm 27 verse 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4 Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Philippians 4 verse 4 Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Psalm 34 verse 7 The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Proverbs 16 verse 9 In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Psalm 118 verse 1 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Proverbs 19 verse 21 Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Psalm 28 verse 7 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11 Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice! Strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Proverbs 21 verse 21 Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Psalm 46 verse 1 God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20 For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Proverbs 22 verse 4 Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 16 to 18 Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Proverbs 28 verse 25 The greedy stir up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2 I lift up my eyes to the mountains where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 12 For if the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, not according to what one does not have. Proverbs 30 verse 5 Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Psalm 143 verse 8 Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 11 you will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion, 
and through us your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Psalm 33 verse 4 For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 15 Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Proverbs 31 verse 25 She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10 That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong.